we are going to address saddle height and knee extension. And of course these two things go hand in hand. And actually in the process here I'm going to be showing you kind of a new tool that is available for everyone. It's free. One of my viewers uh, created it and it's pretty neat. So uh, I look forward to kind of showing you some of that. Now back before we had access to high-speed motion capture and uh, infrared um, excuse me, high-speed video and infrared motion capture and all these things, we used to have to measure a lot of our bike fit parameters statically or manually. So for saddle height, when we were measuring the person's knee extension, we would have to have the person bring their foot down to the pedal, bottom of the pedal stroke and stop pedaling, and then we would line up a little measuring device at their knee called a goniometer and measure how much knee extension they had or knee flexion they had. And back when this was the really the only option that was fine, but it was really more inadequate than we realized. With the advent of high-speed video and infrared motion capture, we began to see that the data it was providing from the static end was very, very poor. And you only have to look as far as some of the parameters that are given for knee extension when you're when we're talking about saddle height. Way back when, and unfortunately still today, sometimes it is noted that we, we should have a knee extension angle of between 25 and 35 degrees. And like I said, with high-speed video and, and infrared and everything, we realize very quickly that it's much more dynamic than that and that the real measurement and if we put it in the most simple way possible, it's probably more like 35 to 45 degrees. So let me show you what I mean by that. This is one of the collegiate um, athletes that I see uh, and, you know, very fit, very young, very skilled. And if we have him run through his, I'm going to have him run through a couple pedal strokes and we'll come down here. And, you know, it should be noted that the most knee extension usually happens just in front of the bottom of the pedal stroke. So there's the bottom of the pedal stroke, usually right about there, maybe even a little more, is where the uh, most knee extension occurs here. So the thing to keep in mind, and this is, this is what I was just talking about, is if we run an angle through his knee, so we can see what angle we're at here, okay, we have that angle. So that's his knee extension, okay, and that is, or that, excuse me, that's that's his knee angle, but what we're looking for is his knee extension, which when we're talking about these numbers like 25 to 35 or 35 to 45, what we're actually measuring is right here, this resultant angle. So we take this and subtract it from 180, and that gives us this. Basically, it's how f how far from full extension is the rider. So this is 152, so he is at about 28 degrees. He is 28 degrees from full extension, and that is pretty straight. This rider was having a few problems on the bike, and this is the before. This is, this is before we made any of the changes. So again, at 28 degrees, I, I was pretty confident, uh, and especially based on his symptoms and his mechanics otherwise on the bike and his saddle pressure, et cetera, et cetera, that this this his knee extension was was excessive it was too much but we can't just look at knee extension we have to look at the ankle as well and that's the the this, the second take home after after we consider that okay the range is a lot different than we think it's actually in the you know mid to high 30s and into the into the mid 40s we need to you need to know that the ankle plays a role so if we measure just kind of his foot angle right here He's at about, you know, 15, 16 degrees toe down, okay? Now, if he were to, let's just pretend like he were all, going, all of a sudden going to toe down his foot more, which would raise his ankle here. Let's say he goes toes down to this 27 degrees. Well, what's going to happen is his knee is then going to be bent further when he does that. Okay, so as that, as that foot and ankle, as it toes down, that knee is going to bend more. So he has a very straight knee, but he also, remember this was only about 15 degrees. Um, and as, as when you average it out, and this is because this is just one pedal stroke, but if we were to go through and measure 10 of his pedal strokes during this recording, if we measured him at the bottom there, and then we did it again and again and again, we would find that he actually, the way, where it averages out, is about 12, 13, 14 degrees, somewhere in that range for his toe down um, angle. So he's quite a bit lower than that. He's actually a lot of times coming in around here. If he were to just toe down more, he'd have more 
knee flexion. He would not be in as much a knee extension, and that could potentially solve his problem. So we have to be careful that we just don't all of a sudden assume that we can we can just, oh, we're just going to lower his seat and that's going to fix everything. Now, it may certainly be part of the equation, but while we're doing it, we need to keep track of what the ankle is doing. So if we lower the seat, does this ankle then, does it still stay in this, you know, 15, 16 degree, 18 degree range? Or does it do something different? Is he all of a sudden going to 25 degrees or, or something like that? Because that is going to affect even, you know, even more so his knee ankle. Let's take a look at another rider for that. Okay, so here's another rider. And if we just watch him pedal a little bit, a lot different mechanics. This is a rider more like myself. He's, a, he's you know, has a job and responsibilities and is getting older and, and so not the best flexibility necessarily and, and all these things, just like a lot of us. And so if we come down to his angle right here, let's take a look at that. So if we run, just I'm just going to run a quick one. This isn't going to be exact, but if we run just a quick ankle, angle, excuse me, through his knee, and there we go. So there we have that angle. And now I know I've been using this for and showing you for a few minutes now, but this is what I wanted to show you is this kind of tool, this OBS fit. Um, this is kind of neat. This this was created by a, a viewer of mine and it is really slick. You just import a video or pictures and you can take measurements off it and do a lot more that I'll show you in, a, in you know, we can show you some more, but it is really slick. I would really recommend checking it out and you can actually very quickly and easily um, take a look at your bike fit and take some measurements and, and you can kind of do your own um, checking on a few things. It's pretty cool. I know in the past I've mentioned, I've used, um, the free software Kynovia and it is great. It does a few more things than this does, but I really like this because it's simple and it's clean and it's very quick. And I like, I like the little, um, just the little, uh, bells and whistles that it has. It just works really well. He added a few things that I requested and, and it's turned out great. So, and it's free and it's free and he's not making any money on it, off it and neither am I. So, uh, so now if we look, so here's his knee flexion, he's at 130, let's say 133. Okay, and where does that put him? That puts him at about, that's about 47 degrees. He's 47 degrees from full extension. He's on the other end of the spectrum. And let's look at what his ankle is doing though. So if we drop a line right here, he has got quite a difference in his foot and his ankle though. He's at 33, 34 degrees. So that is something to really keep in mind here. Now, the reason is he's in the exact opposite position of the first rider. He has a lot of knee flexion, but he has a lot of toe down as well. So if he were to just drop that heel, he's going to straighten his knee more. You know, this is 34 degrees. We would consider it kind of yeah, outside of what we'd consider the, a normal range potentially for this position, for being toe down at this bottom of the pedal stroke position. And perhaps if we make other changes other than saddle height, maybe it's cleat position. If we were to make uh, changes there or even just cueing his mechanics, maybe this heel naturally, maybe it naturally, oh, that moved on me. There we go. Maybe it naturally drops. And when that happens, that's going to then, of course, straighten that knee. Okay. So we really need to, that's why we really have to consider both of these things at the same time. We have to look at the knee and we have to look at the ankle. And this is why the static measurements fell short is because it was so difficult to accurately control their, the rider's ankle position there's, because there's going to be so much variance between riders in their ankle position at the bottom of the pedal stroke that it could significantly affect uh, your measurements if you didn't happen to set the person's ankle statically in exactly the position that they actually ride in. And so that's where a lot of the error came from is because it was not considering accurately the ankle and the knee together. While, you know, we're making adjustments to this rider, if we are, let's say raising his seat, which is, you know, probably some, a good, good idea. And in this case, I think it was while we're doing that, we need to see what, of course, see what the knee is doing, how much knee extension we're getting out of it. But then we also need to see what's the ankle doing. Is it, is it doing something completely different than we expected it to? Is it going, is he going more, you know, heel down 
Um, because if that's the case, he's going to more aggressively get more, you know knee extension if he does that. It's gonna he's gonna more aggressively uh, uh, straighten that knee if the heel drops while we raise the saddle, or perhaps. What if it goes the other direction? What if he does something crazy, like goes to 50 degrees toe down while we are raising his saddle? Well, in that case, the knee extension, this angle, it might not change at all. He might stay at 47 degrees. So those are the two main things I want you to take away that it's not just the simple static measurement, 25 to 35, that's, that's gonna get you into a lot of trouble. If you run it, you know, normally I tell people eh, about 33 to 48 degrees, I would consider more the normal range these days. Um, the more fit you are, the more dynamic you are, the more stable you are through your, through your, uh, your trunk and, and musculature, you're probably going to be able to tolerate more knee extension. Uh, at the bottom of the pedal stroke and then vice versa you know the less flexible you are the maybe the older you are potentially although that doesn't have to be a, 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 a an indicator or determinant um, but definitely the less flexible the less dynamically stable you are the, the less uh, uh, core strength and trunk strength you have probably you're gonna err, have to err on the side of of having a little more knee flexion uh, at the bottom of the pedal stroke and of course as i mentioned when we're looking at these things we have to consider the knee, yes, we want to look and see what the knee's doing, but we have to consider the ankle too at the same time. So check out this tool that I'm working with right here because it is pretty cool. I like it. Like I said, I don't make any money off it. I don't think he is either. It's free. It's on there. I'll link to it in the description below. Um, it's pretty pretty neat. You can do all sorts of things. I like how it has the little, uh, when you're working with um, any of the, you're trying to find a, an angle or a point, it gives you the, the little uh the little bullseye up here to to so you kind of know where you're at pretty slick um and it can do a lot more than this you can you can you can run um you can actually take measurements if you have a reference measure on here and stuff so uh, pretty cool take a look at it but that is all i have for this video uh, if you have any questions put them down in the comments below and i'll try and get to those and otherwise i'll see you next time thanks everyone